I'll do it. It's a nice mic. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got it from Amazon. Very nice. I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, you guys? Uh, my name is Brody, also known as Boy Wonder, also known as the Hot Stepper. This is my father, Corey. Uh, man, that's it's weird calling you Corey. <laughs> Back in April, it was my father's birthday, and me and my brother went in and bought him a season 21 Hot Ones Challenge kit. And uh, I thought, you know, we might as well make a video out of it. I'm kind of nervous because I'm afraid this is going to trigger my PTSD from, uh, well, you know. Oh, okay. oh. How big? <laughs> Ew, I can smell it, bro. Yeah. How was your experience with the one chip challenge? Was it pleasurable for you? No, that was, it was very, that challenge was very stupid and I don't, I still don't know why I did that. So how would you say you handle spice? I can handle spice up to a point to where it's like, I like when it, the spice matches the taste and so it tastes good. But once you get to a certain point, uh, there's just no reason to be doing it anymore. Me and my father, uh, we read out uh, questions for each other and um, we're just gonna ask them and I guess go from there. So. Uh, let this challenge begin. Father and son, hot ones challenge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the first wing that we have is the classic chili maple edition coming in at 1600 Scoville heat units. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, it seems like people really enjoy this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. That's very nice. Yeah, that tastes like a hot, regular hot classic wing you know yeah very nice just a touch of spice got some sweet to it very nice i'm gonna yeah. clear this wing it's good brody and some of the conversations that we've had you said that you remember some things from being really young so what would you say your first memory is <laughs> that's your first question okay um, yeah, keep it simple for the first one what was my first memory i think i told you this in the past but my first memory is when I was three years old, and we were on a houseboat with our family, our cousins, our uncles, and our aunts, and our grandparents. And I remember there was a hot tub on top, and there was a slide in the back, and you know, I remember going down the slide, and we stopped on a little island too, and we climbed the mountain. But that's the first memory I have is when I was like three years old, so. That's pretty well, young. It is. Pretty young for a first memory. My first question, I kind of went with like the music route for the first question, so. Uh, what makes a good song? I'm pretty passionate about music. I, I collect a lot of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen a lot of bands um, in concert. Uh, what I would say uh, makes a, a good band or a good artist mm -hmm. is uh, being hungry. You know, that drive, that passion to do music just for the sake of getting out there and doing music, mm -hmm. uh, just expressing uh, that art. Um, kind of that second question, uh, what do I think makes a good song? Uh, I think that a good song tells a story. Yeah, uh, definitely. People really seem to connect to stories. Uh, that's, you know, when you get those songs that, you know, don't just last for three weeks or three months, but, so, you know, you're singing along 20 years later, they're, they're usually songs that Storytelling. Tell yeah. Wing two. Wing two. Quandra's. Bahi Ranch, 6,200 Scoville units. When I smelled it, it smelled really good. So it does smell good. I got a little bit of dill to it. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Mmm. Mmm. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. You like that? You like that? Mm hmm. That one's good. Yeah, just that. That dill. A little bit of herbal dill to it. So you had asked me a question about music. Let's just kind of stick with that theme a little okay. bit. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of a twofold question. Okay. Um, what was your first concert that you ever went to, or you remember going to? <laughs> what was the first concert that I remember going to? Mm -hmm. I don't know if like you and mom brought me to like a concert when I was younger, but one that I can remember is definitely going, my first concert was a prof concert. If you guys do not know who Prof is, Prof is a Minnesota artist. Uh, I would say I would say he's up there for Minnesota. My my father and his friend are huge into Prof, and they brought me along to one of his concerts. And I'm like, you know what? Why not? I'll go. I like rap. I went, and that concert was absolutely amazing. 
Prof's been around for a minute uh, here in Minnesota, part of the Minnesota music scene. Yeah. Uh, but his concerts are just crazy off, off the chain. You know, just just crazy. And the, the, the showdown in Rochester. It was, yeah, Rochester, Minnesota was the first concert that I went to, a uh, Prof, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that show was uh, the first show that I'd seen after the COVID lockdown stuff, and everybody was just hungry to get out oh, there. Oh, everyone was. Time. What's crazy about it was I've never really have been in a mosh pit before, so that was kind of my first time that happening. And I was with my father and his friend in the next five minutes. I don't know where they went. And, oh yeah, and my uncle was there too. All three of these guys just dispersed, so I was left up by myself in a mosh pit. Just Loved it. Hey, guilty as charged, I abandoned my kid at a concert. <laughs> yeah. uh, to be fair, he was 19 years old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I guess I was just uh, being a you know a kid of growing up in the 90s. Uh, I was more used to that mosh pit scene than uh, than my kid was, so <laughs> I, I had a blast. It was a great time. Yeah, that, that was amazing. Again, staying on kind of the music line, um, all time best guitar player. So that's a very tricky question it that is. you that you ask uh, because, like I'd mentioned, I, I'm a collector of music. I'm very passionate about music. Mm -hmm. There's so many different genres of yeah. music. Uh, for me, I would say that Stevie Ray Vaughan is oh, the best yeah. guitar player. Yeah. Um, and I say that uh, having seen him play live, I was 14 years old and yeah. down in St. Paul, I believe it was uh, Riverfest. Me and some buddies uh, hopped in a car. I didn't drive, I was 14, I had some older buddies. <laughs> and uh, went down to see Stevie Ray Vaughan. As far as uh, how uh, just impressive and important that concert was, it really changed the trajectory of my love and understanding of, of music and just opened up to just the possibilities of what can be what can be good and what is excellent. 100%. He would, I, I know you showed me some videos of him playing, and I'm like, yeah, this guy's freaking sick. <laughs> Most guitar players uh, play in sentences. This guy just played in paragraphs. Yeah. Like music just flowed through him like he was a conduit. It, it was amazing to see. That's how you got my brother's middle name, right? Yes, uh, I did <laughs> name my older son uh, his middle name anyway, uh, uh, after Stevie oh Ray Vaughan. that's funny. All right, you ready to move on? I'm ready to move All on. Right, let's do it. Wing three, it's Cahillo, 15,000 Scoville units. This one smelled really good, so I'm looking forward to this yeah, one. It's starting to smell a little spice on these now. Ready? Mmm, I like that one too. You like that? Almost tastes a little bit um, mustardy and it peppery. Does. Very good. Mm, people are just gonna hear me moaning over the wings. <laughs> so far, very good. Not too spicy. Not spicy yet. I'm gonna use that part and skip back to where I'm dying from the heat. So my next question for you isn't so much about music, but it's uh, something that you have been very passionate about for, boy, as long as I can remember in your life, and that's dancing. Oh, yeah. So can you uh, just tell me what is, What's your connection to dancing? Because, um, you know, it's actually something you have as one of your, your channels, one of your social medias. Yeah. I would say dancing just came at a very young age to me. You've shown me so much footage of when I was younger, just dancing to, like, music. I mean, you showed me, he, he showed me footage of me dancing to Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson. Dancing at a young age, I kind of carried that on, and I kind of found a passion for it. I realized when I dance, I am so happy. I'm, like, in my happy place when I dance, so this is kind of how I express myself, and it's art. Having that being one of my passions, I'm like, you know what, if I can try to make this, if I can try to monetize myself doing it, or making money with this, you know, I'm like, you know what, let's do it. It's important to follow your passions. It is, it is. Yeah, no, I remember you as a little kid watching Elvis's comeback special. Yeah. You had your little uh, pajamas that looked like a prison uniform, and you had a little guitar. <laughs> you and mom gave me and my brother our own little quotes in these frames, and I know my frame said something about dancing, like, would you know, if you had a choice to either sit down or dance, I would dance, and I know when that quote too kind of connects with me as well. So yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, my next question, we're getting, we're, we're already getting kind of deep with the third question, but what is something you regret not doing in life? Something that I regret not doing in life. Yeah, that's a great question. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for hitting me with this one early on instead of uh, when we're dying. Dying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say probably uh, learning about how money works at an earlier age, mm -hmm. how investing works yep. at an earlier age. When you're young, it's, in my opinion, a little bit easier to take some of those risks that you need to to build wealth and to um, 
to put into investing. Yeah. Um, it's not impossible as you get older, but the, the risks uh, just seem to be more. Yeah. Um, I would have made a few different decisions uh, about investing yeah. when I was uh, younger. Uh, had I known then what I know now, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a, like a huge regret, like I don't perseverate on it and lose sleep over it, but it is something that I wish I would have learned at a younger age and I'm really hoping that I can make good on it by passing on some of that knowledge to my my sons. Already at the age of 20, I mean, I'm reading books about it, I'm investing, I'm learning, I'm failing, I'm making mistakes, but hey, when you make mistakes, that's a growth right there, baby. So, very true. Yep. Fourth wing. Fourth wing. Los Calientes Verde. 36,000 Scoville. Again, this one smelled delicious in the bottle. Yeah, this one smelled pretty good. Ready? Mmm, okay. Okay. Not bad. Again, a delicious sauce. Yeah. That verde sauce. Very nice. And I coated these wings really well. You did. I used a lot out of the bottle you got, here. You must be a good cook, huh? I do what I can. Yeah. So since we're going to be doing a little bit more hard-hitting questions um, after that one that oh, you really gave me, I just wanted to know um, <laughs> Bet you what it's like to be 10 and having the police call your parents late at night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were going to go that way. Right. Was it fifth grade? Is that what it was? I don't even remember. I think it was right around that fifth grade year. I think you're right about 10 years old. <sighs> what was it like? Yeah, what was it like to have a police officer stop you in the darkness? You know, do what he had to do. Uh, I was scared of shit. <laughs> as you should. Yeah, have been. no. I right as that cop turned the corner and stopped right in front of us, me and my friends, I got so nervous and I got so scared because I thought I thought I was going to jail as a fifth grader. Um, I was scared, man, and I and I know how you are growing up. So I mean, we're rule followers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> When the cop said that he was going to call my father and tell us about what's happening, I about almost just like, I started bawling. I started crying my eyes out, I'll be honest, because I knew that you weren't going to be happy. And yeah, what, I get grounded for like two weeks or something? And no uh, phone, no TV, you I know how it goes. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, the worst part of your punishment was taking away your phone because you were worried about something called streaks, which yeah. I had well, okay. no... Okay. idea what that was okay well i mean yeah w streaks whatever at that point but i was a kid what can you say <laughs> what can you say you made it through i did and here and i am didn't go to jail and i didn't go to jail it's clean record still got a clean record that's right so all right <laughs> all right so my next question you know pretty simple what is some advice you'd give to an 18 year old any advice you have in that brain any advice that I have in this brain yeah, you might give to yeah. me. Uh, I would say uh, follow your passions in life. When you're young, uh, like I'd mentioned before, uh, it's, it's easier to take some risks and you have a longer time to recover from setbacks. If you do get something that works out for you, you have a, a longer time uh, yeah. during your life to uh, reap, the, reap the rewards yeah. uh, of that risk. Um, but again, sometimes when you risk, it doesn't work out yeah. and you still have time to, to get back on your feet. Uh, I would say read as much as you possibly can uh, when you are young. Uh, there's really? a lot of there's a lot of people out there that are way smarter than you or I or any 18 year old that's you know graduating high school. Learn from learn from those books, learn from those podcasts, learn from those audio books. Uh, there's a lot of wisdom uh, in that. Which, which podcast? The Impulsive, Joe Rogan, The Ovan. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, some of those guys obviously have some pretty uh, important smart uh, stuff to say. Uh, they do. Uh, even yeah. a, a guy like Theo Vaughn has, has lived through some shit and, and can, <laughs> can tell Vaughn. you, can definitely give you some insight um, to things. I, st um, I still don't know if Theo Vaughn is real or not. <laughs> the way he acts. <laughs> All right, great. That, that would be great advice from an 18 year old, I think. So fifth wing. Fifth wing, fifth wing. We have ghost pepper hot sauce coming in at 39,000 Scoville. We already have a ghost pepper? We do, and this one, this one you can start to smell the spice on. Oh boy. And you can see the peppers in it. Looking forward to this one. <laughs> oh, ow. The wing slapped me in the face. Yep, de definitely getting some spice on this one. Ah, oh, you wouldn't slap me in the face. Is the wing getting the better of you? No, we're good. We're good. Another delicious wing. We're good. 
Yeah, it's creeping up a little bit, but we're, we're good. We're fine. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. That's a finger liquor, though. Yep. That one's going to go on a lot of wings at home from now on. Okay. So, again, kind of fortuitously or interestingly, uh, this one kind of rolls into my last answer a little bit. When you were uh, younger than you are now, you decided to uh, start your own business. So what is it like being a business owner? What's it like being a business owner? Uh, difficult, nerve-wracking, but also exciting. And why I say that is because it's exciting with the challenges, learning how to run a business, even learning on the spot. I'm not going to get a little louder. <laughs> yep, good. There, there's a little bit of spice, a little heat to this. Woo! It's good though. Okay, making mistakes, but then learning from them, <laughs> you know? Right. That your yep. face is getting a little sweaty. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm starting to perspire here. Woo! And, uh, you know, making the mistakes, like maybe, maybe not doing a deal the correct way in the beginning or not doing it the way you're supposed to do it or uh, talking with people and networking. You know, that's kind of challenging. But like I said, as I keep getting more projects and I keep talking to people, making connections, I learn as I go. Mm -hmm. But you find that exciting to kind of learn through the process, yeah. and get your knowledge and experience through experience it that is. way. Yeah, it's very, it's, nice. it's, it's very exciting when I meeting with the client and I get the deal or the project, I get super excited about it because I'm like, wow, like I did it, you know? I like uh, being a business owner. It's really fun, so. Fantastic. All right, my question, still kind of deep a little bit. What was that one move that you made in your life that changed your whole life completely? That, I, you know, I, that, I, that, that one move that just kind of. I, I have actually two answers for this. Cause I can think of. <laughs> Sorry. I can think of two things. And, it, and one of those things is not eating that last hot wing. That has not changed my okay, life completely. Yeah. You seem to be struggling a bit. but uh, Just a tiny bit. Just a it tiny bit. Settle yeah. down a little bit here now. And I'm still doing fine. A little but... dew on my cheeks, but but we'll get through that. I'd say the first move was uh, getting married. Okay. Um, I was, uh, me and your mother were fairly young when yep. we were engaged and married. We were 19 uh, when we were engaged and we were married at 21. And, and uh, that's, that's pretty young. That's yeah, pretty it young. is young to get married. Yeah, and that was... Uh, Definitely a life changer, you know, because then that, you know, grew into a family and mm -hmm. and being homeowners and just the adult life. Uh, I would say the second, um, which is more career focused, would be um, becoming a teacher. Okay. Uh, definitely yeah. was one of the moves uh, that I'd made. And it was actually later in life that that, that kind of changed uh, the trajectory of, of my life and, and my career. I mean, I definitely know you becoming a teacher is what helped us kind of get up and going correct kind of in in the beginning of the early ages like the dark ages like yeah. those early ages yeah, the dark right. ages <laughs> right it, it definitely changed with just our family having a bit more security yeah me being able to spend more time with you and your brother with us having uh similar uh, time off yep. during a year and us being able to to bond as fathers a father and sons Correct. And then also just with, uh, you know, the whole family relationship. It was Family comes first, you guys. Always remember come that. First. Family yes. always comes first. Just wait until my YouTube stuff takes off, man. Boy wonder, baby. <laughs> That's right. Well, you, you are the type of guy that you put everything you got into what you do. And no doubt that you will be very successful. Thank you. I really appreciate that, father. No problem. <laughs> next wing. Son. Next wing. The next wing. Uh, this one uh, is ooh, a little bit uh, scarier from Torchbearer. It's the Mushroom Mayhem coming in at 68,000 Scoville units. Do you like mushrooms? I hate mushrooms. Oh. It smells earthy. It actually tastes good. Another delicious this sauce. One, this one, I, I don't like mushrooms, but like mm -hmm. it's like blended in, so I don't mind this one. Hats off to the Hot Ones peop, uh, yeah. staff that cho uh, choose these sauces, because <coughs> so far, oh. very delicious. Mmm, mmm, yep, yep. That's pretty good. I like that one. Mm hmm This one does creep a little bit. You know, with a nice, nice flavor, and then kind of on the back end. Oh, yeah. I wasn't, yeah. This one, um, wasn't one expecting that to do that. Brings the heat. Oh, I'm getting like flashbacks from the one chip a little bit. Okay, hit me with another question, boy. Another, another question. 
Are you going to be okay? Yeah. All right. Very good. The next question is, um, as long as I can remember um, having you in the house, being active and being fit has been something that has been important to you. Not just something that you did, but it was important to you. <laughs> okay. Um, why is fitness and working out something that you prioritize or that's important to you? If you can work through the pain of this wing. I like fitness. <laughs> no. Working out is really important to me because over the years I realized as I work out and exercise, I can feel myself growing in the moment. Like every time I work out, I can feel myself getting 1% better. My tongue's starting to get on fire. Yep. Like I said, this one has a little back end. How are you doing? It. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Like I like so far out of these six wings, they're all going on food from here on out. Like I'm okay. putting them on pizza and fries. Kinda hot. And oh, them. I like feeling myself grow. It's even more of beyond working out. It's the fact that you are committing to getting up and going out somewhere, or if you know if you work at home, but it's the aspect of getting up and you're like, all right. I'm going to get better today. I'm not going to procrastinate. I'm going to get this done and do it. I think all that combined is why I really like fitness and working out. Sure. And I, bottom line, who doesn't want to look good and look fit? I mean, so. Some truth to that. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just talking to that. I, I, just that I saw the side eye. That was a joke. That was a joke, man. Just all wait jokes. till he's middle-aged. We'll, yeah. we'll see. I'm going to be doing backflips when I'm middle-aged. More power to you, son. Yeah, okay. <laughs> who is someone you like to learn from? So another great question. You put a lot of thought into these. I did. Yeah. Circling back here a little bit, but uh, people that write books. Um, there's a lot of people that uh, have had a lot of life experiences that they have learned lessons uh, that, that a person just can't learn in their life situation. <clears throat> when you read their books, hopefully it can help you kind of see things in a, a different perspective, get you out of your bubble yeah. and out of uh, seeing things through only your lens. And I, I, I just really connect uh, to learning that way. Uh -huh. As you know, I read a lot. Your mother reads a lot. Yep. Uh, you I've started to read quite a bit. You have, yeah. And I, even though I go through phases where, you know, this, this summer, it's been a slow summer reading for me, however, then I'll read a book a week uh, for a while. And the books that really excite me are the ones that I can't put down because I'm, I'm just consuming just new, new knowledge. Yeah, very well said. Well, thank you. Very son. well said. Are we ready? We're, we're creeping up on, we're, we're on the back Seventh half here. wing. Seventh hey. wing from I'm, the angry goat. I'm not doing too bad. I'm pretty. I'm good. I'm do, okay. We got this. Dreams of Calypso. Now we're getting into that 100,000 Scoville unit. Ooh. This is where we might start feeling some stuff. Damn. Okay. This, Again, a, this looks a, like a lighter wing, though. Yeah, it's got a great, great smell to it. But you can smell the heat on this one. All right, ready? Oh, I got a bad piece. I got a bad piece. I got to go in again. Another delicious sauce. What does that taste like to you? That's like a... Describe this sauce. That's like a... It tastes lighter. It and, tastes lighter. And more green. It's like <laughs> yeah. more herb-based than tomato... Like not so much tomato-based. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Very well said. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Very good. <clears throat> so you've been asking some pretty deep questions here, me. Yeah, I have. I have um, one that... Well... Your mother and I have been curious about for a while here. Uh-oh. What are you going to yeah. ask me? You're, you're a young man. You're physically fit. Yeah. You own your own business. Why don't you date or have a girlfriend <laughs> or a significant other? Um. Uh, why do I not date and why do I not have a woman right now? There's, there's probably two reasons to that. I would say, oh, man, that creeps up on you. That's another creeper. I would agree with that 100%. That creeps up on you. Yep. That creeps up on you. What the hell? Why am I kind of short as a breath here? Oh, got to work out more. Yeah, okay. I wake up at 7 every morning and go work out. Uh, Cute. Why do I not have, why do I not date and have a girl? Well, number one, I would say is because, honestly, there hasn't been a woman yet that I've seen or talked to that's been like, wow, you were worth my time. Or you, I want to put time and energy into a relationship or anything like that. That's probably the first reason. But also the second reason is because I'm not sure if I'm ready yet to like put my time and energy into that part of life yet. Mm -hmm. Because I'm trying to get 
things going for myself and get things up and started. And I want to be able to put my time and energy into my relationship, into my woman. You know, I just don't feel like as a right now, as a young kid, I should be focusing on that. I feel like I should be focusing on my career and getting my things going for myself. So I know it's kind of cliche to say this, but focusing on myself, that's the real main reason why. So what kind of, what kind of, what kind of traits are you looking for in a, in a significant other that you haven't quite found yet? She needs to be, okay, honestly hardworking, right? Like we need to be both putting in the same energy into our stuff. I realize you're not always gonna have the same hobbies, but like if we have some similar hobbies like working out, playing golf, or creating content together, I mean, I would wanna be able to share those similar interests. And obviously I think um, loyalty Mm -hmm. obviously and being able to trust each other and be loyal to each other mm -hmm. so there's probably more to do but my brain is like it's hard to talk right now yeah like i you're fumbling a little bit not uh, nice, yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah no I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine i'm doing that's fine a, that, was a, that was a pretty mature answer though uh just knowing that to have success for relationships it does take time effort yeah and, and uh when you're trying to build your you're trying to build your your future yeah it can be tough to dedicate the well, time you know, and, to and, and the time and effort. I've also yeah. heard people in my life say that, well, sometimes you need that other person to help build with you, you mm -hmm. know? And that and that's very true. Sometimes you need that other person to build with you. But hey, we're not all the same. We're not all in the same story and situation. So it's different for everybody. All right. I'm not drinking because it's too hot. I just need to lubricate for the next oh, one. Oh, I'm good. I don't need to take no sip of nothing yet. We are on wing number eight. Eight. Okay, this is the one that I've been fearing a little bit just because. Oh no, is um, this the bomb? Watching the show, yep. The bomb. Evolution at 135,600 <sighs> Scoville units. I've never seen a good outcome. All right, with hold this up. guy here. We gotta do a little video for this one, okay. We are now about to try the bomb evolution. Let's see how this goes. Ready? Mm-hmm. That one just don't taste good. What the hell? Dude. Uh do I take another bite? Do we take another bite just to get it get it again? I wanna do a gun. Oh. <coughs> oh that's weird. Oh that's weird. Man, that definitely is hot <coughs> AF. No doubt about it. Oh what the um why'd I take another bite? It tastes terrible. Oh why'd I take another bite? Why does that hit you hard? Oh, it tastes that. like <coughs> some type of chemical you'd store in a garage. That's not real. It's not real. I should have. Oh my god. Dude, I feel paranoid. Yeah, that one sucks. That Why? terrible. Oh. That's not real. Why did I take another bite? Yeah. Whoever makes this. Oh, dude, I'm spinning. You're not good. <coughs> You're not good people. Woo. Oh. Why did I take another bite? I should've took one bite on that. Oh, I took I, two, cause you took two, and that sucks. Yeah, I'm doing water now. Wait, do I do water? My ears are... Okay, hold on. We, you gotta ask another question. If that thing tasted good, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be so mad, but it's hot and it just tastes like, it's just Oh, that's that sauce that, that's that sauce that f with you. I'm gonna throw you a softball here. I'm not ready, but okay. Easy one. What's your dream car and why? My dream car? Ha! <clears throat> <laughs> uh, it would probably be a Dodge Challenger. Okay. Hellcat or Demon. If not that, a blacked out Camaro. Dude, I feel really weird. I feel really weird. It's hot. It's hot. So a blacked out Dodge. Challenger. Or a blacked out Camaro. Camaro. Okay. They just look very sharp. They look nice. Dude, when does it go away? Well, at least we didn't go full Coolio on this one and dump half of the bottle uh, on the wing because <laughs> this one hits. This one definitely hits. Um, okay, my what, do you, what do you got for me? Maybe I can put together some yeah. sentences here. What? I'm crying. <laughs> like, I, 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 I have tears running down my eyes. Uh, and... Uh. What was a humbling? What was a humbling moment for you? Uh, right yeah. now, you know what? This is hard, but it ain't humbling. Like I got this. The bomb sucks, but, yeah, I, sucks. I, but I got this. Okay. Like I, I, I'm still, 
still put together here. I'd probably say one of the most humbling experiences in my life was when uh, your brother was born. Oh, um, yeah, definitely. So your mom and I were young. We were like 23, 24 years old. I can take just another sip of water here, clear things out. <laughs> I'm not sure the water helps. I'm not so sure it does either. I've got the poor almond milk. Still almond milk. <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need that. Yeah. But your brother was born three months early. He was only a pound seven ounces when he was born. Yeah. And he was in uh, <coughs> neonatal intensive care unit for the first three and a half months of his life. Yeah. As a 23, 24 year old young man, you have a lot of swagger. You think <sighs> that you uh, have a lot of uh, control over life. So that was very humbling to just have to basically surrender <laughs> and submit because the doctors tell you that they don't have anything to help you out of this situation and you just have to hand over you have to hand over everything that's going on uh, in your life to a higher power kind of like you're doing right now you just gotta <laughs> submit and surrender and to do that you have to humble yourself so that's yeah that was that's probably the most humbling moment of this this sauce and moment yeah. matches, this kind of matches the one chip challenge that I took. So this is where that was at? This is where this kind gotcha. of is at. Now, I'm nervous if these sauces are going to make it keep going or it's going to uh, go down. Well, the next one takes a jump. Yeah. Um, we go from 135 Scoville to 600. Okay. 38,000 Scoville with taco vibes only. That, hold up. That was a good response to my brother. I'm glad he's still with us today. And I love yes. my brother to death. I will do anything for him. I'll dig a bullet for him, anything. Yeah, you and your brothers do more videos together because you two are hilarious <laughs> This would have been fun with Bailey, too. Yes, 100%. Okay, next week. It's got a cute name. This shouldn't be so bad, right? <coughs> yeah. All right, let's give it a shot here. One freaking bite. Three, two, one. This one at least has a good taste to it. Dude, I don't know what taste and spice is anymore. I don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't feel content right now. I feel very uncomfortable, and I don't know what's happening in my brain. Well, this what is this what it feels like to be on acid or ecstasy? Because <laughs> I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't I, tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that one kind of hits you a little bit too. Oh yeah, there's definitely some spice to this one. This is a wing clear though, because it tastes good. Yeah. Are you are you eating more? You eating I, more? Yeah, clean the wing. Yeah, that's enough for that. So I gotta ask you a question now, huh? Yeah, go ahead. This is one I'd meant to ask you a little earlier when you're a bit more clear-headed. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. And inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Specifically, your mother and I. Oh. Shit. What's your experience with college? <laughs> Did you know it was not for you? I went to college for one week, maybe not even one week. Uh, four days. Welcome week, and then a day or two of I class. went to the four. I went to the first four days for my college and stayed for each one of my classes and I dropped out. I realized that college was not for me. I had a gut feeling. I had a gut feeling from the get-go. I had a gut feeling from years ago that I just didn't really want to go to college. I feel like you can be successful without college. Again, this is a different story for anybody. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, mechanical, computer, any, you know, that along those teacher. lines, a teacher. You need the pa the diploma for that. Mm -hmm. You need the paper for that. Yep. So I wanted I wanted to be a videographer, a cameraman, a content creator. I've seen people do it. If they can do it, why can't I? You know. Oh, but I suppose that's why I dropped out. But my experience with college, you know, the first couple of days, I did meet some amazing people. The first. Got to admit, it was hard for your mom and I when you made that decision. Yeah. Uh, but when we seen how much uh, how you just dove into uh, starting your business and creating your own thing. We knew that you were going to be all right. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I got a job right away, and I was building my business on the side. So Okay, but before you ask me my question, I want you to hold up your last wing and my last wing. Look at this. I cleaned that bad boy yeah, right here. But I, He just licked no, the sauce off. No, I could, still, I could keep going if I, if I wanted to. If you wanted to. I don't to, want to. Sure. You know what? I might go back. You know what? Yet to be seen. Hey. Yeah. Respectfully? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> But, okay. Respectfully. All right. My question. <laughs> Easy question. Yeah. Why is golf important to you? That's a great question. Yeah. I bet it is. I'll try to keep the answer short. Um, when I was a young kid growing up, 
my mother managed uh, the local golf course in, in our hometown and I spent every summer for 10 years uh, out there with her uh, it, it just kind of feels like a, like a second home uh, being on a golf course just because of that upbringing um, from the time I was 14 to the time I was like 20 22, 23, yeah. uh, I, I worked at golf courses yeah. um, to be good at golf. You have to learn all of those life lessons that are going to make you good at anything. Correct. Right? You have to be disciplined. You have to show up every, you know, every day at the range and put in the reps on, you know, a hundred different type of shots. You have to have patience to be a good golfer. You have to have forgiveness. If you can't forgive yourself for a bad shot, you're not going to do well. No, no. You know, you have to have perseverance and determination. You have, to, you have to be mature about your emotions because if you let your emotions get to you, your whole competitive round of golf is is blown. And those are all just traits that just make a, a solid adult. Boom. All different kinds of You can of play golf when you're five years old to, to when you're 65 years old. Or 85. 85 years old, years old yes. man. Yep. Man, I, you know, I, I think it's time. Oh, we're doing the whole last dab we're, we're, thing too? We're doing the whole last dab yeah, yeah, thing yeah. here. This okay. is the last dab. Yeah. Uh, there isn't a Scoville uh, scale on this one because it is just so damn hot. But it is from the makers of uh, Hot Ones. It's their own sauce. So we're going we're gonna to dab this up. We're going to put a little extra on there just like they do. And I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm doing pretty good. So I'm gonna put a, a fairly, uh, what I think is a healthy dose on here. Right? Yeah, that's a good dose right there. Oh, that's oh. Do you know what? You put a little bit more on than I did. I'm gonna put just a touch more on that's here. Okay. Just so, just fair is fair, right? Yeah, that's good. All right. Holy shit. Okay. Well, thank All you right. for doing this challenge. Hey, with it's me. been fun, bud. Let's go for it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. This one's got some nice citrusy flavor. It does. <laughs> Not bad. <clears throat> yep, it hits you. Oh, yeah, it hit me up. It got me right it way me back. Up. Got me way back. It has hit me up. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Woo! For, that one, that one, yeah. For a hot, for a spicy sauce, got good flavor yet. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that hits you a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be pulling this one out to uh, throw on uh, sliced pizza. This might be just a special occasion one. Uh, I ain't throwing any of these on. I mean, these oh, yeah. five I'll throw on. You know what? Maybe that one. Maybe this one. Oh, 100% I'm throwing all of, the, all of these on something except for the bomb. That's just trash. You're going to throw all these these ones too? At some point, yeah. Oh, They're all good. Oh, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm in the mood. All right, can I ask me a question? Okay, here's your question. Oh, shit. This does this does heat up as you sit on it a little bit. No oh, oh, sweet baby Jesus! <laughs> this is a this is a hot one. Oh, <coughs> dude, it's hit me again. Yeah, it kind of comes in waves a little bit, no doubt. I'm getting a shout out to Sean Evans for doing this. I don't know how many times have you done this? Four hundred times, five hundred times. Shout out to my yeah. boy Sean yep. Evans, dude. If you ever see this, my guy, I love you. Woo! Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> Last question. This one stays. This one stays a little bit. <clears throat> what are your uh, future goals? Where would you like to see yourself in three years, five years, ten years? Like maybe even with social media. <laughs> maybe not crying. Oh. <laughs> I want to be <clears throat> happy. Do you realize you're shouting? I'm not shouting. I'm not <laughs> you're shouting. shouting. <laughs> okay. I I want to be happy. That's my goal, man. I want to see myself. Be successful with what I do with content creating and filming. I want to one day just be able to bless my family, my friends, man. That's my honestly my goal. I don't care about the materialistic things. I really don't care because I've been happy my whole life without all that. Shit. Right. So I can't really talk. Yeah, but, it's um, this one stays on your tongue. Or like for me, anywhere way, my body's reaction to it is to just like. <laughs> Make some thick saliva, if yeah. that sounds right. Like, my body's just like, we got to take care of this. This one, the bomb ma matches. Okay, calm down. This one matches hot <clears throat> chip. This is the hot chip challenge spice for you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw the questions at you now. Yeah, yeah. What's the toughest part about keeping a healthy relationship with people? Mm. 
<laughs> Good Lord. Like, these are really excellent questions. These, these sounds like questions that we should be talking about over a beer sometime. Yeah, or therapy. Uh, or therapy, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, sorry, I calmed down. And, and there's a few things that I think you really need to have... Uh, a good solid relationship and maintain a healthy relationship one is being honest with 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 person in a relationship whether it's a yep. family relationship spells or relationship friend relationship honesty is pretty important uh, you have to be willing <clears throat> to be vulnerable uh, with people to have those really significant deep kind of relationships be, be willing to take those risks to form those bonds man you have to be able to forgive to have uh, those type of lasting relationships because, man, people are going to f*** up in life. They really are. Yeah. Um, if you want to have those type of uh, relationships that, that count, uh, you have to be willing to just understand that, like, not everybody's going to have their best day. I'm not okay. Sorry. <laughs> like, today is not his best day. He's struggling really hard with this. I, I got to say, like, yeah, I'd do it again. I'd do it again with the next season's asses. Would you? 100%. Yeah, I might. Yep. I say right now, well, yep. maybe I would. Okay, next question. That was yeah. an amazing response. I agree with you. What is a big goal you want to achieve moving forward in life? Uh, simple answer is <laughs> I'd like to retire someday. Yeah. Like that would be awesome if you know your mom and I can get ourselves into a spot where we can just... You know, in, enjoy our time together as, yep. uh, as, as a couple yep. instead of, you know, trying to balance everything as being parents, colleagues, and co-workers and, and all of, you know, all of these other hats that we wear. Kind of a, I think more what you were getting at though is I would, I would like to um, either uh, do an audio book, like read and record an audio book at some point or... My ears uh, just popped. <laughs> I feeling better now. Yeah, good deal. You're a little snotty out the nostrils there too, bud. What do my eyes look like right now? Uh, you look like you did when we were uh, in Colorado at the Prof concert. <laughs> Red Rocks, <laughs> four twenty. <laughs> Either that, or I'd like to maybe uh, write a novel and have that published. Um, I did have a, a short story that I wrote uh, that had gotten published, but it would be nice to just take that to the next step and and have a novel. You know, I gotta say, yeah. Some of these sauces, especially on this back half, these these last four were were something special. Not the hottest thing I've ever eaten, though. This wasn't. This wasn't the hottest thing I've ever eaten. Got to give shout out to OMC up in Duluth. That their, was their Nashville chicken. Their Nashville hot chicken sandwich was the hottest food I've ever no. put in my mouth. What? That moment. Yep. Surpasses this. Yeah, it was you, it was the hottest. You were acting. You were like this in that moment when you had that burger. That chicken sandwich. Yeah. Like that, that was the chicken. hottest thing I'd ever put in my mouth. Okay. Yep. So, again, shout out to one. So, See you guys, okay, you guys I'm going to ask you right killer, now. Okay. Killer sandwich. After experiencing this sort of stuff, yeah. w- would you want to do the one chip challenge or would is that a no for you? Yeah, I think I think I could do that. I think what helps with this challenge is that you, you kind of wind up. Yeah. You kind of build up to the to the hot, hot stuff. Yeah. Where that one chip challenge, it's like just from what it looks like, it's just like hitting a brick wall. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So, in my mind as a young kid, I... I think every big flex or every dream for a young kid is want, wanting to retire their parents mm-hmm. or help their parents. That's definitely one for me. You know, if, you know, before uh, hopefully I could do that before you guys get there. But if you do, you do. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully this video will get you a few more followers and yeah. get you one step closer to you. And if it doesn't, I don't care. Don't care. This was fun. So. Yep. Well done, son. I appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate this was you the, too. The, besides of us, me not doing okay right now. <laughs> And I don't know how I'm going to be after this. Uh, this yep. was fun to do. Shout out to Hot Ones, Sean Evans, and their whole entire uh, team yep. business. Uh, this is such a cool yep. um, idea. Very amazing. Yep. You guys do great stuff. This is this is great. Thank you guys for watching this Hot Ones challenge video. And uh, if you watch this whole entire video or clicked on it, I really do appreciate you guys so much for taking your time. It means a lot to me and my father. So it does. Peace out, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Holy smokes, dude. The bomb is trash, dude. It is trash.